What's up guys, this is Matt Watson, coming to you from the camper van that he called Mo. This week I'm gonna show you how I put together Mo's final piece of furniture. And it is this beautiful cube that I'm sitting on right now. I apologize for the view. As you can see, not only is this cube a great place to sit, but it doubles as a pullout table. It is a storage unit where currently I have a garbage and some spare shirts. It fits safely between the front seats, so when you're driving, it has a place where it's gonna hold stuff like magazines or your phone or whatnot. And on top of all of that, it is also a percussion instrument originally from Peru known as the Cajun. So, through the miracle of hyperlapse, let me show you in a couple minutes what took me a couple weeks to create. What's comedy? What? You got some comedy? Huh? You want a comedy? It's bad! What's in comedy? So the conception of this piece of furniture comes from needing a little bit more storage inside of Mo. I wanted a space that I could put things in that also served as a table, a place to sit, and also fit perfectly between the two front seats so that while driving I could have access to the storage but also have a place to put extra things, whether it be some a sandwich or snacks that you're eating on the way or a map to your next location. Because I knew the home for this Audubon was gonna be between the two front seats, I took the measurement of those dimensions so I knew the exact size that I could create this cube and therefore make it as big as possible. Turns out I made it a little bit too big and it didn't fit on my first time finishing it. So I had to take the entire thing apart and take off an inch off of the height and the width. So it turns out it's not a cube anymore. It's more of a rectangular prism, but uh, hey, you know, it still serves its purpose. A thought from a guy who had to do this project completely twice because of this mistake. Maybe try to make sure it fits before you put on the finishing touches like the roof and the floor. Make sure that your measuring was correct and therefore it'll save you some time in the long run. I created the skeleton out of pieces of wood that were one and a half by one and a half. So I would have a solid structure to mount the paneling to. All of the paneling was created from one piece of 16 foot long board that was nine and three quarters inches wide and this helped determine the dimensions of the cube itself. As always, working with the hinges is my least favorite part as it's so finicky and delicate. I needed the leaves to be able to come up so my table could extend, but at the same time, I wanted to make sure that when they're folded in, that they're quite close to the original cube so that it'd still fit inside the front seats. To keep the lid where I wanted it, I created a square on the inside of the cube so that the lid would fit perfectly right on top of it and it could then also be used as storage um, outside of the cube for whenever I'm driving around and need a place to set something. Despite the paneling being made out of a 16 foot long board, I still ran out for the bottom and ended up doing a deck-like effect out of an old Ikea bed frame. I sanded the entire structure so it was nice and smooth and then had to create a way to keep my leaves up when the Audubon was in table mode. After pondering how to do this for quite a while, I came up with a very simple and basic solution of creating a tiny groove on the inside of the leaf and then taking a piece of wood and carving it so that it will fit perfectly inside the groove, keeping both of the leaves up. A quick test with the fist, giving it a knock a couple times, and it seems pretty solid. I mean, I'll let you know if I end up losing an entire meal because this thing collapses, but it feels like it can handle exactly what I want it to do. It was at this point on my first time through that I realized my cube no longer fit between my two front seats and disassembled the entire thing, taking off an inch off the height and the width so that it would now fit perfectly where I need it to. And let me tell you guys, now that this beautiful chair slash table slash storage unit slash ottoman slash Cajun fits perfectly between the front seats, I cannot wait to take Mo out on the road as he is completely ready to house my sister and I on our Ignite the Laughter comedy tour. Come on, hey guys, as always, by watching this video, you're already supporting me. So thank you so much for doing that. If you want to go a little bit extra, feel really good about yourself. All you got to do is give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and then just send it to a friend. Be like, check this guy out. He's hilarious. In the next couple weeks, my youngest sister, the bear, and I are heading out on the Ignite the Laughter comedy tour. All of the information is at mattwatsoncomedy.com. But that is it for this week, and I'll talk to you in the next one.